All right, y'all. Well, howdy. I'm Daisy O'Connor. Good to be here at this amazing place. If you're hiring, just think of me, call me, <laughs> let me know. I want to put my name in the hat. Um, but for now, I'm a full-time singer, songwriter, traveler, writer, nerd about town and about the world. And this is one of the first songs I wrote. It's called Doobie Doo. And it's just kind of a good starting point when I quit social work and started following my dreams and doing what I love. So here we go. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. We were watching Walker, Texas Ranger in a cheap hotel in Memphis. We were eating cup of noodles. I was wearing your blue underpants. And the lady in the lobby was trying to watch the Fox TV while she stared at us suspiciously. And you wanted to buy a BB gun. And you said, some people like to go to church every Sunday and watch their big TVs. They're riding on a cart to Walmart, praying God will set them free. But there's so much more in this big old world, so much more to see. So just grab a hold of the reins now, baby, cause right now we are free to do, to be. Do be do be do be do be do be do be do. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. We're a couple Catholic gypsy roamers, guitars and cars and telephoners. You read me Kafka on your cell phone Wrangle right and rope me in so strong Baby, stay the night Baby, stay the night Baby, stay the night And let's do and be And do be, do be, do be, do be, do be, do be, do When we finally checked out of our hotel home You kissed me hard so everyone would know And drove your car to San Francisco And I wanted to go away with you And I know some people have to go to work on the weekdays Hope their banks get big There's traffic lanes, 401ks Marriage and Miller Lite But there's so much more in this big old world So much more to see So just keep hold of the reins now, baby Cause right now, we are free at Siete To do, to be To do, be, do, be, do, be, do, be, do, be, do, be, do Cozy vibes. Before I was a singer-songwriter, I used to work at a domestic violence shelter out in the country. I'm from Washington State. I did that for a really long time. That's part of what inspired this next song. It's a prayer for all the Marias out there. Oh, Maria, won't you come with me? I called your name around the rosary Oh Maria, you can disagree Spinning in the stormy history Singing
She's a red light runner, two-step tease Fire in my heart at five degrees Oh, Maria, did he give you pain? I'll try not to give you more of the same Take his call He quit that girl And the alcohol But oh Maria I could set you free I carved your name In the apple tree Singing She's a red light runner, two-step tease Fire in my heart at five degrees Oh, Maria, did he give you pain? I'll try not to give you more of the same Run away. I'll pick you up in my truck on Broadway. Oh, Maria, would it be a crime? I paid the dues, I'll do the time. Thanks, y'all. Question. Oh yeah, absolutely. What's been the best thing that's come of you leaving your career to join a new one or the one you dreamed of? <sighs> um, I got to say it's not all, you know, roses and happiness. I think life is always life and wherever you are, there you are, you know, and your problems will follow you. So I don't ever want to give the impression that everything's perfect when you follow your passions. But the blessing, the silver lining, and all of it has been the support that I've received from community, from people I don't even know coming to shows, donating to Kickstarters, joining my Patreon. I have like a, a website where people pay me every month to write songs. It's kind of incredible. And I never expected that because I chose to do this, people would actually like it and be interested and occasionally buy in and that's actually happening. So it's pretty exciting. And again, like come what may, you know, we'll see it's one day at a time, but yeah, community has basically been my blessing through it all. Good question. Thanks. Um, well, oh man, I know I'm going to play for you next. This is a song I haven't even recorded yet, but I had a near death experience on the road a few years ago and it had me thinking about how I should probably have like a last will and testament or something. And so far, all I have is a song. It doesn't count at all. It's not legally relevant in any way. But this song's called Tombstone. I don't need a tombstone. You can leave me where I lie. Dig a hole if you gotta. You can burn me up bright. In a campfire on a hillside Sing some songs for me But I don't need a tombstone Scatter my ashes on a cliffside Plant me at the roots of a tree No finer finery for me Than to feed her And feel her grow on top of me that's better than a tombstone And please don't let my parents plan a funeral They don't know me good enough My friends can throw a party Maybe a camp out And I'll dance the moon beneath my feet 
If you spend the night singing songs for me But I don't need a tombstone In the uncertain light Everything is alright Yeah, we're all gonna die But only one day And what you gonna do with the other days I hope you play, I hope you laugh I hope you're a hero on your own path So plant me in the ground Put a tree on top of me Make it a Madrona If I'm in the Northwest A live oak tree in Texas A redwood in California A cottonwood in Colorado Let the tree be my tombstone If I gotta have a tombstone Make it a living tombstone, please <laughs> Anybody have any questions for the old Daisy? <laughs> any burning desires? Yes, please. So if you were to be buried under a tree, what kind of tree would you like to be buried? Ooh, well, geez. I mean, I listed a few in the song. Um, it kind of depends on where you are regionally when you die. I'm not like, I need to be buried here. I don't know. I don't think about these things enough. Um, but I mean, I don't know how easy it is to grow redwoods. They're like so rare, it seems, especially the old ones. But they're like the coolest trees, in my opinion. Um, have any of y'all spent time in California and like gone through a redwood grove? If you haven't, I highly recommend doing that drive. Highway 101 in California is beautiful. There's all kinds of spots you can pull over and it feels like you're in. The best descriptive I could have is like how it feels when you walk into an old cathedral. It's like this space that just kind of holds you, this wise, deep presence. So probably a redwood. There's a lot of good trees to choose from, though. I guess it's becoming kind of a thing. There's, like, companies that will do those burials. So, pretty dope. Into it. We recently, I spent some time in California recently actually burying an elder family member, and it was, like, the whole open casket, you know, big production thing. I don't ever want to do that for sure, for sure, for sure. It's like, you're like in the room with a body that's been dead for weeks and you can smell weird chemicals and just, okay. <laughs> Enough said, y'all. We know this. I feel like the younger generation's like, yeah, that's weird. But yeah. old people were like, I still want that. It's capitalism. Give me that money stuff. I don't know. I want my death to cost a minimum of 30K. <laughs> I'm super not into that. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Any other thoughts, questions before I play another song or, or so? Are you starving? Are you all like, yeah, yeah, I know. I feel you. Yeah, I'll play, I'll play a few more songs. I also am like, you guys, there's like food waiting. This is, this is a big deal. <laughs> Do you have a favorite uh, like food memory or memory around food? I have, I'm such a foodie, so like lots of food memories, but one that I mentioned earlier when I was talking with some folks is um, my family in California, one time we were at the farmer's market and this 4-H kid was selling rabbits, like dead rabbits that they'd like butchered themselves, which is so hardcore when you're like 10 years old. We're like, we got to support these kids. So we got these rabbits and we're like, what do we do with it? So we found a, a recipe for rabbit cassoulet. That's a thing. And it's like, you, you, debone the rabbit there's like youtube tutorials that'll show you how to do it you like debone the thing and like prepare it and it was like there's prunes in it and like this whole like sweet sauce you cook it in with all these veggies and potatoes and stuff and you bake it in the oven it's so good like we were all like this we've eaten at a lot of nice restaurants but like it was a really special meal we tried to recreate it and it was good the second time but that one time was like it will never be like that again it was magic so <laughs> Rabbit cassoulet, y'all, if you're feeling super adventurous. <laughs> yeah. um, cool. Well, I think I'll play for you now a song about my experience growing up. I was raised real conservative, real religious on the farm. It's kind of like my journey with, with all of that spiritual stuff. It's called Breaking the Box.
As a kid I was taught To put God in a box Where I could write all my prayers down And lock them up They told me who he was What he meant What he thought They told me there were people He didn't like a lot And I'm breaking the box of my comfort zone Breaking the box Of what I know They said it's so simple Just follow God's word But I hear God whisper in my ear I'm everywhere Gay people in parades The kid on the street And the man with AIDS The banker and the barista The stripper in lace If I'm looking for God I better get to know your face And I'm breaking the box Of my comfort zone in the box of what I know I'm outside the lines I'm a rainbow pearl Mama, I see God in the smile of a girl Been torn apart and taped together again Questions about any of that? <laughs> Anybody else raised super religious? <laughs> no, just me. Cool. <laughs> you never know when people are going to be like, "Yeah, that's my jam." Like it happens, so I got to keep playing it. Um, one or two more? Does that feel right for y'all? Cool. Um, if you really want another one, I can pull one out. But I, I love this song. It's inspired by our beautiful wildflowers here in Central Texas, and they're just starting to bloom. It's kind of a love song to Mother Nature. It's called Come What May. She sows in soil. She shines. She knows She grows roots deep She climbs She blows Thought I knew her when She was a song in my head Thought I knew her when She was the bird Of bud blossom dew Oh, come what may I loved her on an April day She stands so still Wind blows her through 
Rain pours her drink She swoons, she shakes Thought I knew her when She was strong in her skin Thought I knew her when She was a spark